60 countries, 53 years of living, all into one project that I've done many campers, lived in campers all over the world, like you're always living out in the bush. And I was like, let's do something amazing. Uh, All right, so now we're going to talk about some stuff that is different than other rigs, but I think you're going to enjoy it. I, that. I, you're only in a shower for five minutes a day, right? You're in and you're out. I wanted two bedrooms. So if Phil's like, hey, dude, you're going to Panama, I want to come. So Phil could lay up here with his woman. I could be back here with my girlfriend. And then when you want to use the toilet, you come, you hear, and I didn't want, I don't like seeing my girlfriend's Poo, you know? <laughs> it's not a dry flush. I don't blame you. And you can sit like this, or you could flip it around and you're in the mountains. And oh my gosh. I see the ocean as I take a dump. <laughs> and, like and then you're like, yeah, and you have your coffee. Uh... Some nice people came over and they had this idea of like a coffee. And then I don't want it, I want a big counter. Oh my gosh, so, a flip up induction stove? Yeah, I was like, let me make a flip up induction stove no. so you can still get by. No way. What an idea, dude. Tons of countertop space, and this is really, really pretty. That's what? abalone from New Zealand. No way. Yeah, it's, you know, you got, even though it's rugged, it's the nice to still make it pretty. Yeah, absolutely. And it, it just feels like a nice, like a. It definitely feels like kind of Panama vibes, yeah. like beachy vibes. And, and then there's tape lighting on the floor so you can see at night. There's tape lighting up above so you can kind of, you know, the cabinets kind of glow. And then I wanted Ooh. these containers so you feel like you put like shorts yeah. and a bathing suit. So and you could see, because sometimes you go in RVs and like everything tumbles on your head. Yeah. The idea here, Phil, is you know how women, they always get stuck and they have to pee in the night. And yeah. they're always way over here. So it's like, man, I want to make it where the dude, so it's 93 inches. Yeah. And he's laying like this, and the girl's here. She's like, I have to go pee. I'm just going to hold him. I'm just going to hold him. <gasps> you, swiv you swivel. Yeah, buddy. Now you have like yes. the longest bed, and the girl, there's a drawer they can pull out that I have there, and she can turn this way, and she can jump on the floor and never have to bother anyone. I love it. All this room over here for all the dogs. I love it. Yeah, this I've never seen anything like this where you have the bed and then yeah, this it's for surf comfortable and paddleboards. Pa well, and and I mean, shoot, you could it's comfy. I mean, I came right in and I sat right there. Yeah. Like this, this, goes this is where I should be sitting. <laughs> the lithium, so it's all uh, lithium. Wow, wow, look at that. How many amp hours? There's a. Uh, oh, we got a spec sheet and everything. Look at that. Components. Two 8,000 B2 Timberline heaters, two 8,000 Cruise and Comfort ACs. Uh, lithium, 12,164 watt hours, 1,180 amp hours. Nice. So it's, you know, enough. 1,180 amp hours. I would say that's enough. Yes, I have 200 amp hours. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. And. and then, okay. That's classic. He's like, it should be enough. <laughs> this, this is you can throw your shoes, you know. Oh, cool! Like yeah, a shoe. Yeah, like, um, and then you can, and then there's not dirt going everywhere. You can tear it out and just oh, shake it out. That's smart, dude. You thought through. You thought things through to the next level. Outlet um, there. In many ways. Fan to blow the cooking stuff out. This is so you can kind of grab this like you're in a sub, and you just kind of swoop in. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Yeah. And then there's coffee, baby. Oh, coffee! Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, big nice pad there. So you do, you just wow. What's your dog's name, Phil? Coda. I always like watching videos and watching Coda. Yeah, this um, is the one. Uh, well, two times, one of the two times a year where I, I have her, you know, family watcher, so I can be here yeah, doing. You, you, doing your, I go. Mom and dad are watching. Right? Yeah, I just go crazy at this event, and yeah. so yeah, you, it's you, nice you're to not everywhere and anywhere. Yeah. So this, but I miss it. This is all storage. Wow, and then this is like all the way into your whole back area here. So is this how you get? This is how you oh. push your kayak surfboards. But I see you actually get in that area. Yeah, through. I wanted that. So like we talked about an accident, you could have you can walk under. You can see the power on that side. I'll turn the light. Neat. And look at all these gauges and oh, super clean. Wow. That is so neat. And then I wanted it big enough that you could easily. This is walk so through. neat. 
I mean, this is big storage here. Yeah. You're filming the, the electronics, but that's uh, backpacks and things in there. Yeah. Look at all. This is so cool. You crawl into this little garage area. So you don't, do you use this for storage much? You can put like those Walmart containers that inner stack and you yeah. just fill so much shit. Yeah. Just the, the other compressor. ARB locker yeah. manifold. Yep. Inside that, that screw down, you can open it up and it's in there. Nice. And here you can flip this switch if your battery goes dead and then jump start your truck. Oh, truck off the lift jumper. Mm -hmm. And then if you swing around here, Phil, right behind your back, mm -hmm. this is another just a big storage. Wow, yeah. Big. Look at this plumbing and the electrical. It's just the workmanship is phenomenal. Like what's your background? How did you we, I had a friend who's just the best. He does all the big yachts. Oh. And I was like, let's go all out and make it the cleanest electrical Yachts. system ever. Yachts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when we build things after like yachts and airplanes, like, yeah, that's the way to go. So you're on a trip, I'm on a trip, <coughs> and you're like, Eric, this is how I eat, and my dog also wants his homemade food. I was like, let's go redundancy. So we'll put two Dometic CFX 395 dual zones. We got one here. That's you got cooking. two? I had no idea. That there was a fridge oh, okay. and then here's, right in front so of me. Phil, you can have the top one. Oh, and you did. The, wait, yeah. I want to see. Can I see that? Right? Yeah. You did little pull tabs. Yeah. You modified that. Yeah. You noticed that? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, it's so, there was no way to do it. So I was like, let's just click it through, and you can pull the lever that way. Wow. Oh, that's neat. I like that a lot. Thank you, Phil. Yeah. yeah only that's a guy almost like you would notice that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's all. That's like I almost like it better than. Yeah than the it is interesting yeah i'm glad you got that shot in case you decide to modify yours right me too that's cool man <laughs> and then here could be like my fridge you know or the dog's fridge oh there's another oh they're literally stacked <laughs> and then you can see oh the tolerances goodness. is like a quarter inch i wanted everything tight yeah, look at that what the heck no room could be wasted nothing wow when this hits the back of the wall there's a quarter of an inch wow yeah and there, and there was all, you know, they're all 200 pound double slided doors here. Oh, wanted goodness. maximum storage, so big drawers. That's more than nice one. drawers, and I, I like these. Yeah, they're kind of cool, huh? Wow. I was like, how am I gonna make it? I found these. They kind of, huh. they went with the abalone. Yeah. And then this is the garbage and buckstop hat. Nice. And a paintbrush. A place for everything, and, and this everything is just, in its place. This, you're only pulling really showering for five minutes that's why everyone has these showers and you look in the shower and it's all full of stuff now we have boats kayaks surfboards two people having be full bedrooms you go in a lot of these million dollar rvs you're like yeah we can sleep four well there's two people here and then they step up and they step right on the dude's head yeah right? yeah so, yeah this thing sleeps one two three four and then in hammocks five six seven eight two hammocks on the top nine ten and there's a bed eleven twelve this this vehicle sleeps 12 people. And then if you, you put just, a person here, that? it'd be 13. Oh my gosh. And this is totally a bed. Yeah. Wow. Especially for a kid, this is a perfect bed. Yeah. Holy cow. And the, 13. You, I've never have I ever yeah. seen a rig that over 10 even or over five, four, five <laughs> really. And this is kind of quick. You can just drop this down, Phil. Mm hmm. Yeah. I like that a lot. And the magnets will just. That, that just works. Catches. That's a perfect pass through for dogs, right? They can actually get out. It's so clean. Thank you. And I wanted this wide enough. Right. You know, you and I are hanging out. Yeah. And we're not like claustrophobic. There's still enough of a, there's just a big gap. Here. We have plenty of space. Yeah, doing a walkthrough with, with people, you're sometimes like, oh, oh, or you'll stop recording even just to like, yeah. you go out, I go in. And right. we haven't had to do that because it, there's so much space in here. So this is your shower basin. shower and then. I love it. And I love having a shower in the entry door. Well, imagine um, if you were out by is, the woods and you don't need to, you're not worried about being naked. Yeah. Then you actually open up this side. And exactly. You let your ding dong hang in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And also this is, this would just be, I mean, it's wasted space for, to have a shower, right. you know, right. a permanent shower. It really is versus i mean you, you're literally watching the amount of time it's taking to set up it's just throwing a curtain up yeah and uh yeah that's super easy so yeah my next camper whenever that is i love my camper right now but the next one will be bigger and the next one will definitely have uh 
interior shower option in the entryway. I, I, the I am so sold on the, this design. Yeah, and then the magnets, you can see just grabbing along the bottom. Mm -hmm. So everything just kind of click, click, click. And I wanted it wide. Pull this, shower goes right through here. And you can put it up here and shower. And you yeah. have 120 gallons of water. Yeah. So you can shower a while. And these windows are glass, are they're, they? They're uh, polycarbonate, bulletproof. Oh, oh, yeah, you said bulletproof. Yeah. They're bulletproof. Those are probably pretty pricey, I would imagine. You know what? They're all marine windows by Bomar. And, and then these are your shades. All magnetic. Oh, cool. And they just go up fast. Nice. And then yeah, and you're done quick. And then That's they open awesome. up and you can get tons of tons of air. Nice. Oh, I like those. You can adjust them wherever you want. You know, they don't have three settings and they click through. You can just put them wherever you want. That's cool. I'm I'm selling this thing cuz I'm moving back to Panama. Mm -hmm. But my hope is that the perfect person who can go, "Yep, I'm into diving, fishing, having stuff, touring, having friends over." It's not, you know, and then I just want someone to be stoked. Yeah. That's my dream. Yeah. I put my whole, this was 60 countries, 53 years of living all into one project that I've done many campers, lived in campers all over the world. Like you're always living out in the bush. And I was like, let's do something amazing and get the coolest companies and inspirational people like Phil. I mean, these are the people that oh, make this me. world, make us, you know, look, by watching Phil's channel, you're happy and you realize life is short and you need to go out in the outdoors and live it. And look at you, you're always on some nutty adventure. <laughs> Inspiring. Well, you, you just invited me to Panama. <laughs> now, he's coming to Panama, he's gonna be spear fishing like a mad pig, treasure hunting. <laughs> It's going to be bitching. But thank you so much for the oh, compliments, Eric. Yeah, I appreciate oh, that a lot. Man. Oh, it's true. I appreciate it. Dude, that. when I watch your videos, you leave and you're like, you're beaming happy. Yeah. I mean, there's there's something about your videos that I don't know how you do it. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate that a lot. I have a lot of fun, <laughs> a lot of fun with it. And yeah. the Overland Expo is just incredible. To good, meet good so people, many people, huh? this good. community is just yeah. It's the cool, it's like the coolest community I've ever been a part of. You need like, to be so. a part. You need other to than watch. mountain bike community is pretty rad too. True. There's all sorts of good people. Yeah, out that's there. true. You but this is a culmination of everything. It is. That's what overlanding yeah, is. I mean, it's I'm not any surfer, one thing. You're a mountain dude. Bike, mountain bike bikes, dirt bikes. That's, you know, that's my point. main thing. You know, but yeah, and then we all and then I learn about surfing and I get invited to yeah. fish with you or yeah. do. And, that, and that's not going to happen at a bar. Yeah. Right. Get out of the bar life and get out into look, girls. If you're trying to find a guy to date, yeah, I swear, if you're up Life hiking lessons, on a mountain, dude, I love this. you're hiking a mountain and, and you're struggling to get up and <coughs> feel his arm come down and grab you, come on. And now you got a buddy to hike with. Dude, don't, don't be a part of the superficial world. Be out with real people doing real things. I love it, I love it. This backrest, I like a deck. A lot of vehicles have a flip down that goes up. But I was like, what about, it's a beautiful night, you're under the stars, and you're like, honey, I wish we could be outside at the same time that we're inside. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> All the scenarios, dude. This is how you build a rig. You go, you live life, you have these scenarios and these thoughts, and then you make them happen. This is just so cool. Look at that. It's flush, so everything, you don't even feel it, and now... Did you can imagine being bound in mob like that. Yeah. This has never been done before. <laughs> Look at that, dude. <laughs> just chilling. Yeah. Just like, hey, hey guys. Like, the, you, could, you could be the comfiest you've ever been and not be antisocial at camp. You could be here talking to everyone. You know the Instagram <laughs> shots of the hot chicks? Let's get an Instagram of the hot Phil. I'm gonna swing around outside and you get to see it. <laughs> Hold on. Heck yeah. So this is Phil at his sexy moment. Go ahead. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Come on up. <laughs> Seriously though, like I would have told this would have been me this morning. Like, oh yeah, it was a crazy night. Like, yeah, just chilling. This is so comfy. It's unreal. It's the comfiest rig ever. <laughs> like it's just incredible. Look at that. All these rigs leave an expo. So cool. And I want uh, the birds always have the best view. Like, yeah. Let's build a rooftop deck. Oh yeah. 
I forgot about it. <laughs> There's so much cool things. I literally forgot about the rooftop deck. Should we go up there? Yeah, and I'll show you this bedroom too. This bedroom's all padded. And you're going crazy. <laughs> oh, it's all padded. Yeah. Oh. So you can like be happy. <laughs> so you can like be happy. Um, no, I. That, outlets here. Really Starlink up on the new Starlink for RVs is all here. Mm -hmm. So it just came out in 2023. There's kind of. Oh, sorry. This cabinet's up oh, the zoo in here. You're good. Um, here it. is where you turn on the tiki torches on the roof. <laughs> so I knew that would get filled. <laughs> I knew, I knew that would get you. Yeah. This is where you turn on the tiki torches. All right, Come so up on, here, dude. you can fully lay again. I had it pinched in in the front, so it kind of looks really cool on the outside. It's not like a straight RV. Everything tapers in. Yeah. Same thing on these windows, just magnetized. And they just flip up. Yeah. Coffee lays here. This storage here is so you can... Hey, I got a hotel. I'm going to stay with my po folks. Take your stuff out, put it in this, tear it off, and then walk into the hotel room. There you go. So that's empty. Yeah. Yeah, and that's a great that's a great thing you to do. Like, oh, I'm carrying all my crap. In. I have empty bags too, just for that. Okay. And it feels weird to carry empty bags, but it's like, no, that makes a yeah, ton yeah. of sense because you don't. You would know. Yeah, you'd need different things each time. Yeah. And then this is just uh, I try to pick colors that you know it's kind of cozy and it closes up. Nice. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the best stuff. That's awesome. Um, and then let's go up. All right. This is. So I think. Oh, I guess I can go before you since I'm here. Oh now this might goodness. trip you out and i'll show you all about that rooftop deck in the next video where eric also explains a super heartfelt heart-wrenching story to be honest how his father's passing was the inspiration for never quit overland and anyways that's all going to be in the next video it's really awesome you guys don't want to miss it if you enjoyed this one that is so we'll see you on the rooftop deck if you're down to mob